Okay, another day. Another absolute washout, rain, rain, storm Kathleen. There's a new storm. What comes after K L M N O P no H I J K L Storm Lawrence Storm Leo Storm Leonardo DiCaprio. Now why is there the tactical assault unit, the special forces of the police here at the Crown Court? Hey Crown Court, in great numbers. I'm sure there's a reason. A couple of the fellas in the van. There, where's the? There he is. They recognise me. I said, "What's going on? Is it a spicy court case?" I said, "Yeah, we're not allowed to say too much." And I say, "You're just gonna keep it safe against angry public." Said, yeah, yeah. Remember, don't confuse the Crown Court, which is for very, very serious crimes, with the Magistrates Court, which is still for crimes, but slightly more misdemeanor type crimes. As ranted about in an earlier video. It's the hot, not the hottest, the wettest 18 months on record in Great Britain, probably for other European countries as well. It's so wet. I hate it when it's permanently wet. Out of the last, say, 100 days, I'd say 75 of them have been super rainy. And that's too much, guys. Ah, the famous kicked crackhead spot. No, you won't. And uh, nothing suppresses. The crackheadery and degeneracy like uh, persistent heavy rain. More effective than the detectives, more effective than uniform police. Just put a bit of bad weather on it and the crackheads disappear. Look at this guy. A lot of young Arabs in town and uh, I hope they're spending lots of money keeping the economy going because there's crackheads everywhere in this crackhead lady's Alsatian German Shepherd. Sorry I missed it, it lunged at them. Woof, 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 woof. There's a lot of people dressed strangely today. Oh, it's just a regular day in Manchester. And woke, aircraft carrier one. The crafty pig. I'm hoping it might slow down this incessant rain, but it won't. We've got a uh, tramp propellant drinker next to the cash machine. Free cash withdrawals, how nice. You've got classic bearded cracky shuffles off to my left and it's still raining. Oh, I thoroughly enjoyed last week's Auditing Britain video from Manchester, especially the chat outside the film and TV van with the Rasta, Rasta security. He gets some good photons, young AB. He's a good lad. I just wish I got the same level of people saying, not allowed, but I get recognised and then they're like, oh, it's just that clown with a camera. Film and TV services, I'll zoom out. This is looking the other way, down Hilton Street. So, uh, I was just filming from there. That was my vantage point. And I'm a clever boy. These blackout blinds, they're really blacking the shit out of the Fremont bar. It's quite cool looking in there. They've even got black translucent plastic on the front door. Oh yeah, you okay? Looks good. A bit more black plastic, you'll get full blackout. There you go. Look at that. Anything exciting being filmed? Oh, missing you. Missing you. Okay, nice one. Well, good luck. Cheers, man. I hope my viewers see I'm not just argumentative for the sake of it. I'm not the most argumentative man in Britain. When people are kind to me, I'm kind to them. I wouldn't have any subscribers if I wasn't. Even in the rain, some of the architecture in Manchester looks glorious. Well, I was looking at, just below Jeff Buckley, Lila Quine, uh, 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 pubic hairs on the soap. With Auditing Britain, they're like, no, get your camera away from our van with me. It's like, oh, look, it's the local retarded photon guy. Poor thing, let him film. <laughs> Too well known though. And they've got their toilets, look at this. Little Honda, little Honda petrol generator, keep the lights on in the toilet. They might even have a power flush. Chops up the poo, you never know. They've all got, wait. Even though they've got this uh, Manchester City Council, blah, blah, blah. He's also got the parking permission, but uh, some traffic warden not paying attention has done them. Wow. I thought it was one or two vans. It's, uh, it's a whole city worth.
Oh yeah. See, I'm allowed to film. They're like, oh look, it's the village idiot. It's just Charlie, village idiot. Whereas AB, tall, handsome, Arabian looking guy, he's like, yeah, he gets challenged. Oh wait, th these people look, uh, White van heaven, guys. Get a job in film and television production, they said. PKE lighting. PKE. And this is the secret housing estate here in central Manchester. Just off the northern quarter. I once got very drunk and got lost. I had to jump over a fence to escape it. As you can see, they obviously have their cracky problems. Oh, look, oh, rule Britannia, oh, rule Britannia. And let's end this particular shot on a tulip. So let children walk past all the public advertising so they can see what kind of society we are. Uh, um, I think the government and Aviva should stop giving David Hoyle money. I'll happily take him to church and sit him down with a quality priest that could help him. They said to these models here for Adidas Originals, they said like, don't scowl, but don't smile either. Remember, you guys are really cool, so don't smile. And uh, you with your nice fake eyelashes, don't smile, because smiling is for losers, hey. You guys are cool street urban feral types. I am a different species to mainstream people. <laughs> imagine if this was a neon I imagined it and uh, nothing happened you guys remember Soap Street from Fight Club where Tyler Durden lived Soap Street oh god I was meant to stop filming there we'll, we'll stop filming now well if only my viewers could imagine the smell it's actually surprisingly okay it's uh, fresh anyway it's all fresh I think no need to put googly eyes on the dead fish here the one dry spot on Market Street is the covered section at the end under the food court maybe got buskers gym marketers eh, knife crime social enterprises and other people just trying to stage. Oh, and not to forget the people that witnessed Jehovah directly. They they, they saw him. And uh, Jehovah wants to hand you a leaflet. I think the, these uh, spiritual groups, like the Hare Krishnas, you see, every few months they run out of good vibes and and the anal bleaching and whatever. Whatever it is that they're into, they run out. So they have to come out on the street and uh, sell little books and ask for donations from the public just get a job guys work for your money try it it works here we've got Hare Krishna versus Islam we've got Buddha versus Abraham the final showdown and uh, let me see if I can get, get myself a dramatic red light who's gonna win it's Allahu Akbar versus make me one with everything by getting rid of my desires Okay guys, a nationwide bank has flooded two days of monsoon. We'll do that, they've got a big uh, orange tube coming out of there. Orange tube you say? Where's your customers? Oh yeah, sorry, it's flooded out, okay. Such normal weather. Not, it's not even a feature of clouds in the sky, although I think the Samsung, like it does with the moon, is faking some detail for you guys. No, we promise you it's not fake. But uh, it's a featureless sky. Great buildings, great sky, great rain, great people, great souls, everything great. Not even 50 shades of it, just one shade, that one. You're not music, man.
just studying its movements, see if I can see a pattern of behavior. <laughs> Godspeed to you, green hair. We're at Cracky Corner now. Where's, where's our green hair going? Well, there's a boombox. Into the sunset, clearly. Oh, there is no sunset. Featureless sky, remember, Charlie. What do my viewers think? It's a man. It's, it is a man, but should the dog be taken off him? Should the dog have to suffer? And another suspected flooding here at H&M. They've had to shut the doors. Everyone's outside. Hi, my name is Zach and this is the Charlie Brooks shop. Thanks, mate. Yeah. So uh, I've stumbled into some uh, high culture here at the Royal Exchange Theatre. In the lunar landing module, that big theatre within a theatre, very fractal in here. They've got a production on in 15 minutes. Well, guys, apparently everyone's evacuating the theatre. It's not safe for flooding. I've never noticed these faces. And you're like, Charlie, that's not faces, that's a building. Let me show you. There's row one. And then you're like, wait, there's more. There's all the dudes, look at that. There are loads of them. Where's the best one? Where is he? Ah, oh, bottom right. Okay, guys, it's day six. Day six of the torso in Salford. The blue tent is gone, but the mystery remains, and I'll tell you why. Okay, so we're in uh, Sedgley Park, a very predominantly Jewish area. I've actually stayed in a B&B. &B. A bed and breakfast owned by a Jewish gentleman down there. But anyway, check. So, the police are here in very large numbers with big sticks. There's a lot of them. And, uh... Laura, you can tell that there's a very sticky situation going on here. Okay, I'm filming through the glass of the car now. But uh, not every day you see so many officers, ossifers. Well, this guy's very sticky, bloody hell. All right, this is all related. The, the reason why there's a lot of sticky cops here, cops with big sticks. Laura just asked me, why have they got big sticks? And maybe the viewers can help me. I said to her, when you're walking in the undergrowth and it's full of shitty twigs and mud and leaves, it's easier to use a long stick to move stuff aside to have a look than it is to bend down all the time bend over you know you get a sore back as a as a as a human being so uh the big sticks let me zoom in again the big sticks are for undergrowth moving things having a look now they're all waiting for some stick order to come in now i hope whatever they do i hope that whatever they do something sticks and they never thought guys we've been in a 15 20 minute tailback and they didn't think to maybe push the car through the junction off the main road it's going to be rush hour in about well in about now um fuck them man oh i'm just gonna have to chop it i'm too bald anyway day six last thursday they found a person walking a doggy the doggy was getting very interested in some stuff wrapped in cellophane. They found an armless, legless, headless human torso. Nobody knew what was going on. On day three, they said it was a, a man, a male, in his 40s. But today, they've released a statement saying they don't even know the ethnicity. They don't know if it's a black man, a white man, a Chinese man, an Indian man. He might even be Inuit, for all we know. We just don't know. A man in his 20s 
sorry, I shouldn't spit at my viewers. Man in his 20s was arrested four days ago, but released on bail. Now, I don't think they think he did it, otherwise he would not be walking the streets as a free man, albeit with bail conditions. I bet he's not allowed to go and rummage around in the forest. That'll be his bail conditions. But the reason why I've come to this spot to give you guys the real story, sorry, the full story, real, what is real, is that the police, Greater Manchester Police, have asked Salford City Council to suspend all bin collections until they find the rest of this man's body. They're going to have to start searching the local landfills. And uh, if you watch my channel regularly, there's one particular landfill where I think they should wear nuclear, biological, chemical protection suits. The Pillsworth Industrial Estate one. So condolences to the family. Nobody knows who he is, though. And uh, what kind of person chops up a body? There's a lot of bad people out there. Anyway, this is Charlie Veach from Curzel Green on Berry... Sorry, is this Berry New Road? Yeah. Sorry, Berry New Road. I call, Thank you. I called it Berry Old Road last week. Berry New Road. 